Anderson Sr. Yeah, describes yeah. his first look at the car in which his son was shot and killed by a Wauwatosa police officer. It's horrifying to me. It's, it's horrifying. The shooting happened in June, but the family didn't get the car until recently, going public now with photos they took of the interior. We've blurred some of the pictures, which show bloodstains remaining months after the shooting. I feel like he was left there to bleed out with all the blood I seen, and I just feel like it was wrong. Anderson was shot after an officer identified in official documents as Joseph Mensa approached the vehicle in Madison Park. Police say Anderson had a gun in the car, and the officer feared for his safety. Wauwatosa police did not respond to our request for comment today and have not released the dash cam video of the shooting. But the family has seen it and believes it shows Anderson did nothing to threaten the officer. They think the condition of the car indicates a poorly handled investigation, but their attorney is glad that the car was released as is. Uh, if the car had been cleaned up, uh, again, there would be that much more evidence that has been destroyed. Della Rosa, meanwhile, has cleaned the car and continues to use it with her fiancé in mind. I got his picture on the next seat, on the passenger seat. He's going to ride with me wherever I go. The Wauwatosa Police Department has said that it won't make any of its dash cam video public until after the district attorney's office completes its investigation and determines whether any charges are filed. Reporting live in Wauwatosa, I'm Kent Wayne Scott, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Kent. Again, the shooting of Jay Anderson happened in June. Milwaukee police conducted the initial investigation as the outside agency. They sent the dash cam video to the State Department of Justice to be enhanced. They completed their investigation in late July. The investigation is now in the hands of the attorney or the district attorney who will determine whether the officer will face any charges. We checked with the DA today who says there is no timeline on when that decision will be made.